Hey guys. Um, Hi. Emma and I are really tired. Oh, I'm I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm but look, dead. I'm up in my hair in a cute little bun. Yeah, check it out. It's a samurai cutie bun. And my hair looks like Hermione Granger from no. from the bad the bad times when, when she, she was, was 13. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should part it in the middle. That'd be funny. Hmm. <laughs> oh, can, can you do the whole show like that? Oh. My hair is pretty much in the middle, but that's just how it be sometimes. Sometimes I put it in the middle. Looking good. Kind of <laughs> like Prince Charming from Shrek. Oh. Oh, you know, yeah, you're right. And his hair is like... And his mm -hmm. hair... That's what I think... I think of my hair like that. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do our radio show today. <laughs> 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 you look great. She, look, she looks great. I'm so tired. Me too. I'm still sick. I really want coffee, and I kind of feel like crying. I actually do too. I kind of wanted to cry earlier before we started recording when we were looking for eggs. Really? You seemed kind of sad. Why Why are you sad? I don't we know. We haven't talked in a while. Okay, we'll talk. No, I'm just kidding. What's there's nothing wrong? going on. Go ahead, no. Guys, there's nothing. There's really nothing. I'm just really tired. Okay, good. Look at my eyes. Oh, so scared. There's no need to be alarmed. Anyway, let's do the show. We already did the intro. You know us. Being prepared. Oh, my yeah. weenus is going to pop. Oh, it, didn't. <laughs> it didn't even pop. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Why? I'm putting my hair on so I'm going down. <laughs> Good morning, KCOZ. I'm Bethany. And I'm Emma. And today we're going to talk about how to become a dolphin trainer. Yeehaw! Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we got to get serious now. Wilfred already said diabetes. <coughs> he already said diabetes. So we got to back it up to where he said diabetes. Let's have a shorter episode today. Okay. Maybe. Hope there's not a lot of tips on how to be a dolphin trainer. All right. Hey, let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. How's it going? It's great. It's Wednesday. It is awesome. You know what day that is on campus. It's Chicken Finger Wednesday, so you Chicken know Finger that this is going to be a good day. It's going to be great. Full of lots of opportunities. That's right. Full of energy, happiness, peace, love, pixie dust, all of them. It's going to be great. Yeah. I'm so pumped for this Wednesday. Me because too. Because it is also National Cheese Ball Day. No way. How can you have a bad day on Cheese Ball way. Day? Mm. Way and no. way. No. Um, there's no way to mm -hmm. have a bad day on National no. Cheese Ball Day. No. Cover up all of your pain, all your sorrow, with all your disappointment. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. That's, That's right. That's the answer. Mm. Cheese balls. Just imagine your fingers covered in that cheesy powder, licking them. Oh my goodness. So good. So crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. So, so cheesy, wound. so yummy. Wow, I could just take those things on a silver platter. Um, it's also National Ellis Island Family History Day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't that the day? Wait, isn't uh, Ellis uh, Island when mm, all the immigrants yeah, came? Yeah, the immigrants that came. To America. Mm, that's right. Through Ellis Island. And so if your family, family came day. from, I actually don't know if mine did or not. I don't know either. If you migrated to the United States of America um, on Ellis and, Island and you went through Ellis Island, 
Or at least your family did in the history. Props to you. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day, and you're in America now. Isn't that cool to know that, you know, you don't just have your birthday, you have other days, too, because you fall under some of these categories? Like, I fall under the cheese ball day category, yeah, me too. personally. Me too. I I'm also um, follow under the National Hiku Poetry Day. Haiku? What's how you hey, go? Go, uh, hey, go, uh, how you go? How you go? How you go? Yeah. Uh, uh. Hmm, sounds like a that Hawaiian language, bad. honestly. How you go? How you go? Yeah, it sounds Hawaiian. How you go poetry day? I'm not so, a poet. If you're from Hawaii, but, congratulations. You fall under this day. That's baby. right. Um, if you're a writer of poetry, this is also a day for you. I'm sure you know what we're trying to say. But we don't Haiku? know. <laughs> Let's actually look it up. Because I hate not knowing. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a big dumb dumb on the radio. Oh, 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 oh. my goodness. Haiku. It's actually a Japanese poem, not... That also makes sense. Okay, yeah, that makes it's sense. It's a non-rhyming, normally consistent of three lines with... Symbol patterns, um, five seven five. So five seven five. Five seven Celibates. five. So congratulations if you write that kind of poetry. I know I don't. Looks beautiful. Oh, it there's an cute. example. Yeah. Blushing pink blossoms. Oh wait, am I, I was gonna <laughs> Sorry, read no. that? Blushing pink blossoms, careless and gentle conduct, a spring symphony. Caress. What? Caress. Oh, caress. I can't read. No. Gosh, kind of got a little bit of a, a sleepy head ache. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> well, that's okay because um, it's International, it's International Bat, Bat Appreciation, Appreciation Day. Day. <gasps> and we're oh, talking about the animal. goodness. Wait, I have to interrupt. There was this movie I watched this weekend. It's on Netflix. It just came out. It's called The Silence. And it's about these weird mutated bats that are like dinosaur type bats or something. That's the kind of vibe I got. They're like prehistoric and they're freaking weird. And they come out and they start killing everyone. Oh, that sounds so sad. And then they lay their egg babies in the <gasps> corpses. Oops, that might have been a spoiler because you don't find that oh out until later. Oh my goodness. Oops. Listen, it's okay. It's a scary show. Listen, if you want to celebrate um, Bat Day, you probably don't want to watch that. Oh, yeah, it makes bats look negative. Yeah, like negative connotation. Yes. Like a negative light. Is but on any shed. other day, I recommend watching it because it was intense. It was good. It sounds spooky. The Silence on Netflix. See? Here's my little plug. See. Shameless. I was going to spell silence, but then I started it with a C instead of a S. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, yeah, oh, those are our days today, and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to get out there and buy a bat. And a cheese ball. And one cheese ball. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Read the bats actually, of poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, never mind. I was... Uh, <laughs> that That's great. Yeah, that's a great way to celebrate today. Yeah. Um, on a totally unrelated note, let's talk about dolphin training. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted uh, to learn how to be a dolphin trainer ever since I was a little kid. I used to dream of this uh, whenever I was actually like falling asleep at night i would think like mm, wish i had some dolphins i could train yeah i mean i don't know i think it just sounds cool like hello i'm bethany shepherd dolphin trainer oh How are you? yeah you're right like, have that, that sounds... on your business card <laughs> it almost sounds funny like that's incredible like you train dolphins um, and there's so much more than just dolphin training than what you guys think out there, okay? Yeah, you can't just snap your fingers and the dolphin does whatever you want. It doesn't work like that. It takes years of practice, years of uh, a bond in between a uh, person and dolphin. Beast. Yes, that's Man. right. Beast. That's, that's what, they the don't connection. just love you immediately. No, and there's a lot more that goes into it than you think, so we'll just better define the job and what it takes, because there's a special calling. There are that's people right. out there that called to be dolphin trainers. Yep. And if that's one of you, then um, oh, go get them. calling me. Oh, should we answer it? Yeah. Okay. Here's here's Hello. Lauren. What you doing tonight? Homework. Homework. Okay. 
Yeah. I gotta drive to Stratford to pick up Eli to track me. It's an hour away. I was gonna see if you wanted to ride with me, but. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I'll I'll have to write my essay on the way there. So I what? I would have to write my essay on the way there, and I need Wi-Fi for it. So. Yeah. Man. Okay. Say hi to say hi to say hi to the radio. The radio. Hi, radio. <laughs> okay, Yay. bye. All right, you're cutting out on me. I want to go. Okay, bye. bye. Love, you. Love you too. Oh, man. That's my mom. The my struggles. mom's actually a dolphin trainer, so that was a really good segue. No way. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Just the struggles of a, of a student, huh? You, you can't go with your mom to yeah. Stratford to pick up your brother because... Exactly. Essays. Because essays. Yeah, I hate it. I'm sorry, Emma. Wish I could drop out. Let's just drop I'm out just and kidding. be dolphin trainers. Yeah, dolphin trainers, no. But first, <laughs> we gotta understand the role of a dolphin trainer. That's, That's our right. first category. First category. So, the first tip is understand the career prospects of the role. It's more than just snapping your fingers and making dolphins do what you want. That's right. The, you gotta understand that there's, you gotta question the salary. Yep. Um, How many hours you're gonna have to work how yep. often you're gonna be in water yeah you might not do well in water maybe you don't and you have to be able to interact with a crowd if you're training the dolphins to perform competitively like I mean I can't really think of any other reason why you'd com- you train a dolphin yeah you need to figure this out and question your motives so exactly the next tip on here be aware of the role expectations for a dolphin trainer yeah, did you know that dolphins need a vitamins and medicine? Uh, did you know Sometimes that? Are you daily? prepared to clean the dolphin's tank? Yeah, did you know dolphins have DDA, which is Dolphin Daily Assessments? Wow. <coughs> they begin did you know that? at the beginning of every single day. That's what it says on WikiHow. Did you know that? But you didn't know did that. Did you know it? You gotta take care of your dolphin. That's right, yeah. So ask yourself if you're ready to um, meet those needs as a dolphin trainer um, and stuff like that. You also need to start, you know, make a little mental list of the pros and cons of the role because there are both. Um, however, the, the pros of a dolphin trainer is great. I mean, you can have a long-term relationship with your dolphin, mm, which is awesome. That's and awesome. You could say... I'm a dolphin trainer. I'm friends with a dolphin. How about you? Mm. There there could be cons, though, you know? Oh, there could be cons. What if the dolphin bites you? Oh, my goodness. Are you prepared to say, you know what? I'm going to have some grace for this dolphin. It's just a creature. What if your dolphin dies and you have to deal with the emotional baggage of losing oh, a dolphin? wow. There are Are you cons. ready for that? Are you ready? Are you that's life. That's nature. That's life. They die. The circle of life. You're going to die too. So you've got to make a list of those pros and cons. That's right, yeah. And remember that you're going to die too. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know where you're going? Okay. No. All right. Next category on here from WikiHow is getting the necessary education and training. Can't just jump into this. That's right, yeah. You gotta get educated. Um, the very first tip is do well in your science and math courses in high school. Well, uh oh, you can already count me out for this job. I am not gonna be a dolphin trainer. Thank you, Wiki How. Yeah, thanks for um, that. I guess if you are called to be a dolphin trainer, you've got to be good at the science and the math portion, um, because this is like biology, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. dolphins, mm-hmm. real life creatures and stuff. You gotta uh. You gotta be aware of that. Um, maybe take some animal science classes if you have them available at your high school or even in a college. That's right. And then you're gonna want to get a bachelor's degree in biology, marine biology, or animal science. This is how you can be the best dolphin trainer you can Out be. There. The most efficient, mm-hmm. the most uh, trained. You know, you, you gotta be ready for all sorts of everything. And, That's right. Um, However, there is a one-year program um, out there. It's called the College of Marine Mammal Professionals, located Ooh. in Florida. So you could uh, go there or, uh, you know, something like that. You could go to SeaWorld and see if they have a bachelor's degree for you. I graduated from SeaWorld. 
<laughs> what a story. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I mean, you know, get your education in um, the dolphin field. Exactly. Then you can check if your local zoo or aquarium has volunteer programs or internships wow. with animals. That's a really good idea. Way to bulk up your resume and get some experience out there with dolphins just volunteering. Volunteering, maybe doing some internships, you know, just really uh, one-on-one, hands-on. Mm. Yeah, that that sounds great. That's, that's awesome. Like a, you got to be hands-on. You got to get your hands on those dolphins. Yeah. All right, then the next tip on here is to consider getting your scuba certification. Oh, You can wow. get down in there with those dolphins. Go underwater. That's right. Feed them. Put, give them a little something like a little uh, fish stick. Just yeah. kidding. Oh. You really? can't feed them fish oh, really? sticks. Oh, I thought they eat other fish, no? I think they're vegetarians. I have no idea. I would not uh, be a good dolphin trainer. Me either. Heck, I'd give them chicken and think it would be okay or something. I don't know. Oh, man. But um, as a dolphin trainer, you need to be a strong swimmer and a strong snorkeler, so having scuba skills are very beneficial. Oh, wow. Yeah, make sure those lungs are prepared for this. It'll kind of set you apart mm. to the other dolphin trainers. You know? And to the other dolphins. Exactly, because, ooh. They're going to know if you can't can swim. Snorkel. Yeah. Yeah. They'll like you better if they can connect with you like that. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You also need to brush up on your public speaking skills because as a dolphin trainer, you're going to be in the public eye. You're going to have families, uh, children, and parents. Exactly. And people who don't have children or parents um, out there in the audience. And um, they're going to want to know who your dolphin is, uh, who you are, where you came from. And you're, they're going to want to know about your connection with the dolphin, how you came to be a dolphin trainer. They'll be very They're interested. going to want to know about your kids. They're going to know about your uh, marital status. Oh. Um, they're going to want to know if you have any brothers or sisters. Like, this is a whole thing. It can really get out of hand. Yeah. you got to have some gotta good communication skills. Yeah, and you got to be entertaining. I mean, you're putting on a show probably at what, SeaWorld yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. So you got to be That's able right. to communicate. Be funny, be entertaining, you know. Yep. And know your stuff and be able to communicate it. Yeah. You also (coughs) need to remember to be um, as physically fit as possible because, um, you know, you're going to be swimming all the time, keeping up with that dolphin. Of course you got to be. Yep, that's it. Yeah, and that's. That's you gotta be physically fit. Yeah. Then uh, you gotta you gotta find a position. You gotta either join a marine mammal trainers organization, something like that, or apply for entry level positions at a training facility. Uh huh. You got different options here. You yeah. can even consider applying for a position through an internship or volunteer program. That's, That's right. We've kind of already talked about, yeah. And then you got to make sure that you are prepared to watch and learn from senior trainers. So um, if you have a jealousy issue here um, and you see other trainers just getting out there, getting dirty with those dolphins... Um, if you get jealous about that, no, that's not good. You that's have to good. learn. You have to be you willing do a heart to check. learn. Yeah, and if that if you really can't get over your jealousy, maybe you shouldn't be a dolphin trainer because <laughs> it right. takes time. It takes time. You want to be a good dolphin trainer, so you don't just want to jump in there. That's you know, right. Yeah. The dolphin wants you to. You have to learn from people who are more experienced than you. Be okay with that. There's always more to learn. Definitely. That's definitely how you become a dolphin trainer, folks. That's pretty much it, yeah. That's all the tips we got for you. Thank you, WikiHow. Personally, I do not feel called to be a dolphin trainer, and I do not have any facts for you. I just, I I don't know. Yeah, I don't have any tips to add to that either. Um, You know, I mean, it was my childhood dream. Maybe I should pursue it. Yeah. I mean, you, you've got all the tips now. Like, I don't know. If you think it's something you could do, then I've got maybe. the tips. I need to do what I will with them. All right. <laughs> and that's how you become a dolphin trainer and become a dolphin woman. A dolphin. Now, um, our quote for the day that we wrap up comes from Morgan... Oh, what was her last name? Shetland? 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 Oh, wow. Yes, yes, Morgan Shetland, and we believe she said it best when she said, You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a boy love you, no matter how hard you try. Bam. 
That's it. Thank you, Morgan Shetland, because that Amen. is such a good quote. You're really good. That is so true. Good advice. Thank you, Morgan. Emma, what do you want to do with Morgan's quote? Oh, wow. I'm probably going to have to take her quote. Just put it in the center of a tortilla, wrap it up nice and tight, and then eat it. Yum. Mm. What an excellent way to use that quote. Yep. Awesome tip. All right, and um, I guess we should wrap things up with our good friend, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Bam. That was good. Wow, that was really good. You kind really of sped good. up there. Yeah, at the end, I thought we were good. You said you wanted to make it a short episode. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe we could just hurry and speed through the last one. Was that okay? No, it was okay. Yeah. Like, I wanted to. I just basically read the last cool category just by myself really fast. <gasps> uh, why are you calling me? Uh, you called me when you tried to call me back. Oh. Can you press play? It's Annie. Oh, Annie's here. And if you'll obey these simple rules and do these simple things, I promise you... You'll feel better. See if I'm not right. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.